Hi there, this is a, a little video demonstration of me painting. I'm going to today focus on one of my Wonderland paintings. What I have done is given it a title which could be a, a big mistake. It's called Forbidden Fruits and because of the fruit aspect of the title it may distract from the actual painting. Uh, people will look at the uh, painting and think of seeing fruit. So at this stage it's an open title subject to change rather similar to the painting itself. This little video clip is an experiment. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Like many artists, uh, the painting process is normally very private to me and uh, I don't normally expose the trials and tribulations the triumphs and disasters I have along along the way. Um, so hopefully it, it may be interesting, informative, or it may be a load of rubbish. <laughs> a bit similar to my painting, sometimes they're seen as a triumph, uh, informative, colourful, or a load of rubbish. So uh, in that context it's on parallel. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy it. As I say, it's only an experiment. If it works and people leave positive comments about, you know, looking into how I paint and uh, find it interesting, then I'll, I will do more. But if it interferes with the painting process, if it slows me down and um, it, it becomes a distraction, then I will stop doing it, you know, because at the end of the day, we all want to paint. So the video aspect of it is just a trial and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, just as a reference, whether it's worth it or not, or I don't know. But basically it's Sunday morning, uh, the 5th of November. And it's basically a little video diary into my painting processes. So sit back and watch. <laughs> right, the painting at this stage is... Um, at uh, what I suppose the Renaissance called the cartoon stage is basically a lay down of uh, the basic areas and a design concept of what I want the painting to be. As I said, it's at a cartoon stage, so I've laid down ideas on the canvas as to what I want to achieve. And this is the scary stage, it's about destroying the canvas. Now I'm going to lay down the background elements and the key areas of colour. So I've got a graphical overview of the painting and uh, as I said it's the scary stage because I have to destroy everything that's on it at the moment and it, there's about five hours worth of work on here at the moment so it does seem to defeat the object but <laughs> I'm going to lay down the, the base colours for the background and hopefully the, the colours for the main objects within it. I have a photograph of painting at this stage so I can always refer back to the cartoon or the painting sketch whatever you want to call it so here we go it really is both lay down the basic colors and um, experiment and find out where it's going right where it's going wrong and this doesn't look too clever either because this is already purple <laughs> I've just mixed cobalt blue and white and because of the green which is predominantly on the painting it looks purple so that's that's a good start what I'm laying down here is basically the background Though it's standing out in the foreground at the moment, by the end of the painting it will be the background. The painting process, when you lay down different colours, they fight against each other and they have their own position. They actually denote their own position within the structure of the painting. And because at the moment this is the brightest area, it's obviously standing out. But there will be brighter areas all around the canvas in the foreground background so at the end of the day this should all be at the same level. 
Now I've got a base colour down, now it's about trying to blend in white paint so it comes out of focus. I don't want it to be just one old layer of colour, it has to be different areas of out of focus colour to resemble a shimmering background. Whilst talking, whilst painting, I've already discovered that I may end up talking rubbish. So um, I do apologise if that is the case, but I'm already wondering whether this is actually a good idea to uh, talk while painting. Perhaps it will be. Because it's new to me, I won't feel so distracted in the future. At the moment there's two colours going on. You've got cobalt blue and white. The first layer was a mixture of the two. Now it's about using the two colours on their own to blend in. And it's a very playful procedure because it's always changing so at some stage you'll see something just spring out and you say well that, that looks good and you'll keep it and then you'll also see something that looks bad and you'll destroy it as I say it's a scary stage because I already had base colours down and now I just destroyed it all and there's another danger I can see happening here is that with me dipping my paintbrush in my cup of coffee? <laughs> so, hey ho. Anyway, hopefully, time elapsed, you'll see it gradually build up, etc., etc., to the stages I want it to be at. At this stage I'm starting to build up the areas of blue, which as I say will be the background. And what I'm doing is laying in contour lines, which I've referenced before on my blogs and elsewhere, and pieces of paper and things. Now the contour lines are just outlines, it's a posh word for outlines, probably me being a bit pretentious I suppose but their outlines that help me to separate the different areas at this stage but also they're going to be part of the finished painting and what I'm doing is I will re-establish basically keep them I don't know why but I always find painting curves very sensual we're very close to the curves of a woman it's just like I don't know <laughs> painting a curve is like stroking the curves of a woman's body it's quite erotic and it's uh, probably a mass distraction really, but never mind.